Good morning. How are you? All good, I hope. Um, it's about getting on to quarter to eight now. Uh, I've been at work for like an hour and a quarter. Just been catching up on some paperwork. And um, I've had about three hours sleep. So it's not been a great night for me at all. I've actually been in a lot of pain. So I've got um, what I think or thought was arthritis in my wrist, sort of down here, this bit. Goes all the way down. Um, but that kind of doesn't ring true because the, the weather here at the moment is um, really, really hot and the humidity is really, really low. So this is not conducive to um, arthritis, which got me thinking. Now, mum used to have what was called carpal tunnel. Not sure really what it's about, but the same pain she used to go through, I think I'm guessing now. So I think it might be that. So I've done my bit of Googling and I've found out how to treat it. And so I've got my brace on, I've taken the Proxin, I've got my Tesco, yes, Tesco, ibuprofen gel, which I've still got, that I brought with me. And it seems to be easing the pain. I wish good to have a memory of Tesco with you. <laughs> um, I'm not going to go back to the doctor. It keeps costing me a fortune every time I go. And I haven't got three, four hundred dollars a time to keep paying out for, you know, blasted prescriptions and doctor's fees. There's that thing about the NHS again. Do not complain. Anyway, costs, Christ. Look, hopefully, over the day, it will work its way through. I know usually it did, and when I took the brace off, it sort of eased, it's eased a lot. So I'm, I'm fingers crossed that it, it will work, and we'll see. Costs. I didn't really intend to moan about costs today, but I'm going to, because um, it's what the Brits do. What have I got? These are actually empty because we, we finished these this week, but this is Capri's Roses or the, the Aussie version of. There's a few different chocolates, not many. And when these come out initially, they are $30. Yeah, $30 a tin. Incredible. And I think. I mean, they know, I think they're exactly the same size, 600 grams, so I think they're the same size as your, your little plastic tubs um, in the UK. And I think they, somebody told me recently they were about, well, they were three pounds, he said dollar, three pounds 50. Um, these are extortionate, and I don't know why. They taste fine, but it's a good job, really, that we actually get paid. Um, a lot of a lot of money. We, the wages are good, and we can afford to pay for these things because, you know, if I had to pay that on my wages from the UK, it just wouldn't happen. I'd be sat there with a candle, and a couple of slices of turkey, and that would be it. And some stale bread, probably. So we just we are very lucky over here, to be honest, and I I, I do appreciate that. Oh, a uh, little bit of brazier. It's not. It's a vest. I'm just going to go off the point for a minute. Vests, um, invaluable. Now, I never understood why people wore vests in hot climates. Now, the other half's cousin in Croatia always wore a vest. The other half himself wore a vest. Doesn't wear them so much these days, but, you know. And I did a little bit of re research, and these are perfect for keeping you cool in the summer. And they actually work. I wear one every day. I mean, I feel like an old man, really. It's ridiculous, but I do feel like an old man. But yeah, I mean, I wear a vest every day. It keeps me cooler. Um, and if I do sweat, it kind of soaks up the sweat as well. So I haven't got like a sweaty shirt on at work and stuff, So which is, which is really good. So when you come to Australia, Bring a collection of vests with you or buy them out here uh, and you'll never look back. And I'm not talking about the type that Onslow used to wear in Keeping Up Appearances. I'm talking about, you know, just a normal, normal vest. 
made by the company I work for, actually, Haynes Brands. So, uh, prices, yeah, uh, God. Look, I mean, when we go shopping, I've moaned about this so many times, but when we go shopping, it costs us now we're probably 350 a week for food which is horrendous it's so much money um and we get less selection here than what we would back home as well i mean to give you an example tomatoes which i probably shouldn't actually be eating because of the arthritis they are exceedingly bad however tomatoes 800 grams, I think, yeah, it is 800 grams. Look at the little punnet, or whatever you call them, of tomatoes. And that cost me $10. Cheese slices, $10. Chocolate, a chocolate bar, just a normal standard chocolate bar, unless they're on offer, will cost $2.50. British Marmite, which I cannot live without, Six dollars, and it's the tiny jars, not the big ones. My all-time favourite, Twiglets, which I can cannot live without as much as I can't live without Marmite. Three dollars forty for a tiny bag. I guess it's all to do with imports, etc., etc. I don't know, um, although I think. The Twiglets were made in New Zealand, so that doesn't mean true either. I think somebody's on the make somewhere. Supermarkets over here, though, they, they, there's only really two, Coles and Woolworths. And, you know, one week, Coles will be extortionate in price and Woolworths will be lower, and, and they, they, they reverse. It's as if they work together. I think there's a big thing over here called price gouging, where they literally milk the likes of me and you and everyone else for every penny they've got and yeah it's 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 crazy prices really crazy um i'd like to thank everyone for the cards that you've sent now i know several people who have sent cards beginning of november which i haven't got that's not to say they won't get here because i've got um mail five months down the line. I don't know quite what happens. I think because they're so strict with what comes in the country, it sort of gets held up at customs quite a lot and they are sort of prioritizing parcels. Now, Ozpost itself is pretty dire. Don't, again, like the NHS, please don't complain about the Royal Mail because Ozpost is dreadful. I've got this app on my phone where I can complain instantly and I do and I've had several things sorted out because of that and I'm a great complainer as people who know me are well aware so yeah they're terrible and because our we don't have letter boxes in our front doors and we literally have a post box at the end of the drive it's it's so insecure and when I receive cards or letters that they're, they're bent because they can't get them in the do you know, I could complain, I could go on and on and on, um, but it's not great. So if you send Christmas cards or cards in future, just the little ones are fine, because then they don't get pen. Um, also, thank you for the presents. I mean, I th there was one um, when I got home a couple of days ago from uh, lovely Amelia from Tesco. Bless her. I haven't opened any of those presents because I'm saving them for Christmas Day. But what a lovely, lovely thought. And it really does pull at the heartstrings and it makes me think of everyone back home and how wonderful they were and still are. And it's always so lovely to hear from all of you. So, and I haven't got everyone's cards yet. I know that. And I will do at some point, I'm sure, this is always why I send my Christmas cards from here in October. And then I can more or less be sure that people get them. Um, and I think that's worked out quite well. Who knows? You may or may not have your card. Um, so, yeah, I've got a busy few days. Uh, well, today is going to be exceptionally busy. 
Uh, then I've obviously got tomorrow and Christmas Day off. I'm cooking Christmas roast, which was probably a ridiculous thing to even suggest, but I'm doing it. Got everything, just got to get the veg later. So um, when my dear husband finishes work, we will pop to um, get the veg. Uh, and then that should be done. Everything's ready to go. Um, they say the aircon's working at home anyway, so it, it should be cool enough. But I'm, I am going to be cooking all day. I'm back at work on Boxing Day, um, which is fine because that is apparently our busiest day of the year. So, you know, and I, I quite look forward to that. It's, it's a very different day here to what it would be in the UK anyway. I did hear actually that a lot of businesses are closing on Boxing Day in the UK now. So whether or not that's true, I don't know. And just a final thought, um, bushfires. We, we've got an awful lot of bushfires at the moment. Because it is so hot here, the bushfires are so intense this year. Um, and several members of staff actually find it difficult to get into work under these circumstances. Everyone has an evacuation plan in place. Um, and the fires, um, luckily, they're not that far away from here. They're really not. And they can come down this far. Uh, I don't think anything's going to burn down here, but the sky is often filled with smoke and, and, and it is really, really chokingly bad. Uh, so uh, just a thought for everyone living in the hills um, and also all the wildlife. It's um, which gets destroyed. It's, it's, it's appalling. Until you live here, you, you really don't understand just how bad it gets. So, wherever you are, have a wonderful Christmas. Uh, always lovely to speak with you all and look forward to doing a, a video for the new year. Uh, look after yourselves and wear your vests and have a good one. Ciao.